What up guys, it is Justice here and welcome back to RuneScape and this is the NXD version so I've had access to the closed beta. Uh, so essentially I think if you're a gold premier member then you get access or if you've been a member consecutively since 2012. Uh, so that will um, cover a lot of people. Okay, so will it run smoothly on your PC? Well, NXD even works on cards like NVIDIA G4 6150 from like 2005 and an R9800 from like 2003. But maybe you're worried that you only have an Intel HD graphics card because that can be quite common. A lot of like uh, big branded places like PC, well, I'm not going to name any branded places, but a lot of big branded places scam a lot of people with like really low budget graphics cards and sell laptops at very high prices, which is just a complete scam. Uh, but a lot of those may have just Intel HD graphics cards within them. So for those of you who do only have Intel HD graphics, uh, you know, Jax have not forgotten about you guys. With a decent CPU, so Intel Core i3 or above, you should have no trouble seeing 60 FPS with better graphics quality than Java, but at a much lower draw distance. So it will only be slightly better graphically than Java, but a higher performance, so it will run smoother. So if we talk about CPU specifically, NXD requires a dramatically less CPU power than Java, so you'll have no issues there. I definitely recommend if you are going to buy laptops or PCs to go for at least an i5 these days, but i3 works fine with NXD at high settings with a decent graphics card. Uh, in terms of RAM, currently 2GB worth of RAM is enough to run NXD at a lower draw distance and thus low graphics settings. Uh, JX officially recommend 4GB worth of RAM to be on the safe side when running at mid to high graphics settings, and I would recommend 4GB plus when running at ultra. Uh, disk space, you only need 10GB worth of space required. Yes, it's a lot more than Java, but it's a decent you know, compensation considering you're getting a huge uh, graphically boosted game here with a huge performance boost as well. Over 99% of players will be able to use NXD on their current computers. That's what was that's Jax's baseline on what they're targeting uh, in terms of the uptake of NXD. You can run NXD on high at 1080p, 60 FPS with an i3 CPU and a GTX 460. And in terms of my own personal settings and specs. I run NXD on Ultra more smoothly than the Java client on Max Graphics with an i7 CPU, a 4GB NVIDIA GTX 770, and 16GB worth of RAM. But the point here is that I do run NXD on Ultra graphics settings much smoother than Java on its highest graphic settings, and there is an obvious difference between the Java client and C++ NXD client in terms of much smoother gameplay at a much higher frame rate. It's been fun to check out NXD. I have very limited time this weekend, but I have managed to mash this video together. I've always been intrigued uh, to know how NXD is going to impact raids, for example, and, and high-level PVM, and areas where you've got large teams with you that can make the Java client lag pretty badly. Uh, now, I've had chance previous to the release of this beta at the RS well, RuneFest 2015 firstly, and then at the RS documentary of actually testing out the NXD beta and giving it a real go, and it was really interesting to, you know, try it out. So I had that initial idea, but when you get home and you're playing it on your own computer with your own monitors, and, you know, it's a whole different experience, and, you know, I've got to say it does look beautiful. But like I said, my main uh, interest was to find out what is what it's like at raids performance-wise. Before we get into that, first off, they've reworked lots of different icons. So lots of your items, lots of your gear, weapons, armor, the icons have now changed. Uh, the textures as well within the game do look very different as well, but I do feel like it is it is a step forward. Uh, they've removed load times completely, which is pretty cool. And um, for anyone who didn't know, this new NXD client is programmed in C++ and OpenGL, so that's pretty cool. 3% uh, of people, by the way, the player base still use Windows XP. What are you doing? Seriously, upgrade. 35% use Windows 7, 50% use Windows 8, 3%, only 3% use Windows 10, which I'm very surprised about because there's a free upgrade and I'm pretty certain the free upgrade is still in place. You know, I would recommend it. I have no issues with Windows 10 personally. I think it works fine, but either way, uh, graphically, 
So if we go to raise now, graphically, the Durzag pet looks, ama looks amazing. I have no idea what happened to my footage. My HDD actually got full and then it deleted all the footage from Durzag, which sucks. But at least you can see what Yakamaru is like. You can see the water, how it beautiful it looks. But yeah, graphically, uh, raids does look beautiful now, as well as many other areas amongst Gilanor uh, or across Gilanor. The ability animations look pretty cool too. Graphically though, there seems to be lots of glitches. So yeah, it looks cool, but there's a lot of glitches within the raid area anyway. It feels like they haven't completed this area specifically, and the monsters seem to disappear every so often, and Yakamaru doesn't seem to be positioned very well uh, in each of the stages across the fight. As you can see, I'm pretty certain Yakamaru is supposed to be in the middle of the pool. And instead, uh, Yakamaru is like on the edge all of the time, which is a bit buggy and a bit annoying. Uh, but it does feel very smooth to play. Uh, the biggest bugbearer for me when doing high level PVM was every so often the Java client would be extremely laggy within demanding areas such as raids where there are like nine other people PVMing with you, along with lots of variables amongst the environment. So with NXD, the performance seems to be on point and it feels much smoother to play this game and definitely has a new feeling about it, which may spark as well new players to give this game a go. Uh, the draw distance is brilliant. Raids on the Gobi boat ride, I could see my teammates on the other side of the area whilst they were banking and surging and everything, and whilst I was still at the entrance. So, But the Gobi boat ride uh, at Raids, yeah, that was amazing just to get that feel that you can see your team all the way over on the other area, and that's really cool. And whilst I was exploring Mazcab, I came across my friend here, and because I've got audio settings on, I mean, just hearing those errors just slap him in the face, it's just so funny. Just, just listen to this. But yeah, I don't know, maybe that's just me. But thank you so much for watching today's video on the NXD beta. This is just a beta, so those raids those raid glitches and loads of other graphical glitches that you guys are coming across make sure to report them to Jax and you know they should and definitely will get fixed and i really just want nxd to be in the game permanently i want it to come out as soon as possible because i really do feel like it's going to add value to the gameplay experience for many players so yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you all in the next one